Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. If you're new, welcome back to the channel. My name is James from the radio control department at Metro Hobbies. In today's video, we're going to be having a look at this 14th scale Tamiya Grand Hauler and also this fuel tanker trailer that I have with it. So the truck is fully radio control and this particular one has a whole bunch of extras like lights, sounds and vibrations, which we'll have a look in more depth with in the video. So let's take a look. So when you open up the box, what you can expect to see is a whole bunch of bits and pieces. So you've got all the plastic bits like the body, um, the mud guards, etc., and then all the chassis pieces, screws and hardware, as well as your instruction manual. Now, the particular truck and all of the Tamiya trucks, they only come with the motor in terms of the electrics. So there will be a few accessories that you need to get to get it running, and then there are more accessories on top of that to give it extra realism and extra scaled look. So in terms of what you need to get the vehicle running, first of all, you need at least one servo for steering, but I recommend getting two because if you have a second servo, you can operate a working three-speed gearbox with a four-channel radio. Um, on top of those two servos, you will need an electronic speed controller for the truck, and that is only if you don't get the multifunction unit, which I'll go over more later. On top of those items, you will also obviously need a charger and a battery. Um, this just takes standard 7.2 volt nickel metal batteries with a Tamiya plug. And finally, you will need a four channel radio and a receiver to be able to operate the vehicle. So in terms of transmitters for this vehicle, you can use any basic four channel radio and receiver. I in particular use the Futaba 4YWD transmitter. This is really easy to use and suits these trucks perfectly. And the really great thing about these transmitters, it actually comes with a template for gear shifting as this truck has a three speed gearbox. Um, so that makes it really easy to drive the truck and really easy to pick the gears. So I definitely recommend this as a nice, affordable transmitter to use for these vehicles. So now that we've gone over all of the accessories that you need to get the truck running, now we'll go over the extras that you can get for added realism and detail. In terms of extra features that you can get for the truck, the main extra unit that you can get and I definitely recommend getting is the Tamiya multifunction unit. Now there are two versions of this unit. The first is the American version, which is for American rigs like this one. And there's also a European version for the more European trucks like your Volvos and your Mercedes, like the flat nose trucks. The main difference is just the sound of the truck itself. The American version um, sounds like these do in real life and the European version sounds like they do in real life. Now, to go over what this unit offers, the first thing that you can obviously notice is lights. So we have five auxiliary lights on top. Um, these can be switched and changed to either just the three in the middle or all five of them on. Then we've also got headlights, indicators, and we also have brake lights, reversing lights, and rear indicators as well. Now, another accessory that is featured in this multifunction unit is a gigantic speaker which sits in the sleeping cabin here. Now, what this does is when you turn the truck on and drive the truck, the speaker makes the noise of the truck. So it almost feels like the truck has a miniature diesel engine in it and it is incredibly loud when you really pump up the volume. Then the third and final feature that this unit offers is a little motor that sits within the cabin and it has an unbalanced weight on the end of it. Now what this does is when you rev the truck and turn it on, the whole chassis actually vibrates and shakes like the truck would in real life, which is a really small detail and a really, really awesome feature this, that these trucks have. Now, 
Now, in terms of the trailer, it's a pretty similar story. When you buy the kit for the trailer, you just get the trailer itself. There are some accessories that you can get for this as well, um, which is a light kit, which offers brake lights, reversing lights, and indicators. The wiring runs through the chassis all the way to the end of the trailer here with this plug, and that actually plugs into the back of the truck to power it all up. Um, another awesome feature that you can get for this trailer is automatic legs. So when you hook the truck up to the trailer, uh, when you detach it, you can get the legs to automatically go up and automatically come back down. So the trailer is another accessory that you can get on top of these trucks. Now, the first thing you probably would have noticed is this shell livery. This is not how the truck and trailer comes. The trailer just comes in this base aluminium color and the truck just comes in a base white color. So that gives you the option to get spray paint or airbrush brush and paint up the vehicle however you want. Obviously I've chosen to go with a shell livery, obviously it's a fuel tanker so it makes sense to do so. In terms of these shell stickers, these are custom made, I made these, they're probably not available just to buy off the shelf, um, so you may have to make them yourself or pay someone to make them if you're doing going to be doing something like this. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the video, this truck does come with a motor, which is just one of the electronics that the kit actually comes with. The particular motor that it comes with is a Tamiya torque tuned motor. Now, this motor is perfect for these vehicles because it's not fast, but it has a lot of power and torque to be able to pull big heavy loads like all the trailers that are on offer. Now, as I mentioned as well, I use the Futaba 4YWD radio. Now, I'll just briefly go over the features that this radio can do. So on the left joystick, left and up is first gear, middle and up is second gear, and right and up is third gear, as well as obviously back being reverse. Then on your right joystick, you've got left and right for steering and up and down for the horn. So that's pretty much what the radio does. It's fairly basic, really easy to get used to in terms of driving it. Now, in terms of attaching the trailer to the truck, it's a really simple system. The truck actually backs up to the trailer and it automatically clicks and locks into place without you having to do anything. If you put the light kit on the trailer, you will have to manually plug the lights into the back of the truck, which you know is really easy to do and really easy to get the two together. In terms of releasing the trailer, all you have to do is pull a little lever on the truck itself and that will release the lock so that the trailer can come loose. In terms of my personal opinion on these vehicles, I absolutely love them. So much so that I've actually built four or five trucks or trailers over a few years. Now, this truck in particular is pretty much the top dog, the grand hauler. So this is the biggest, most scariest American truck that you can get. And this is probably the most common that sells as well. Um, as I said, there's a whole range of trailers, accessories. So you can really spend time to make these trucks personalized and exactly how you want. Now, if you're a beginner into the hobby and kits in particular, I definitely would not recommend starting with something like these guys. If you're gonna build a kit, you'd wanna stick more, first of all, to one of the Tamiya car kits, as they're a lot more simple to use, a lot easier to build, and aren't as many electric components to sort of wrap your head around. So that pretty much wraps up today's video. Everything and all of the features and accessories that I've mentioned about the truck and trailer can all be found in store or online at metrohobbies.com.au. If you have any questions or any queries about buying them, feel free to give us a phone call, shoot us an email, or come see our friendly staff in store. Please give this video a like and please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.